Now, so we're here today because of the Percent for Art scheme for the Salmon Weir um, Pedestrian and Cycle Bridge. <clears throat> The Percent for Arts scheme is an important source of government funding for the arts and can provide significant budgets uh, to enable artists to imagine and create new work, ambitious new work across, across all art forms and art practice areas. This project is part of Goa City Council's public art programme and funded under the Percent for Arts scheme as part of the Galway Transport Strategy. Proposals are welcome from both individual and artist, artistic teams. And the open call brief has been kept intentionally quite open to allow artists and art forms interested in the project to respond. Now, Salmon Weir Pedestrian and Cycle Bridge. The Salmon Weir Pedestrian and Cycle Bridge officially opened last month. Uh, this tree span steel arch bridge marks a significant achievement for Boa City as the first crossing over the River Corb in 30 years. It spans 55 metres and the bridge's semi elliptical arch with a steel central spine beam and transparent hand railing endeavours to create the illusion of the bridge hovering over the river. This space offers uninterrupted views of the surrounding landscape, including Goa Cathedral, Mercy Convent, and the existing Salmonware Bridge. For the city, the bridge is more than a piece of transport infrastructure. It's an architectural and uh, uh, excuse me, <laughs> urban amenity that hopes to become an iconic focal point in Goa City. Uh, the development of this shared pedestrian and cycle bridge at the Samomir Bridge also brings a number of other significant benefits to Goa City. Uh, number one, it's removing a lot of the past conflicts between vehicles, pedestrians and cyclists on the existing 200 year old bridge, facilitating the development of cross city public transport corridor over the existing bridge as part of the transport uh, strategy for Galway. As mentioned, it's created a focal point for locals and tourists by offering new views of the river, the cathedral, angling activities and the canal. The bridge also supports the future development plan for the adjacent Nuns Island. Uh, which will extend the city centre into this area and facilitate its regeneration. It supports sustainable and active modes of transport between significant populations in the University Hospital Galway, the university itself, the cathedral, schools and the city centre core. The area is also steeped in history. Uh, surrounded by history with the 200 year old bridge, the cathedral and the church all surrounding the bridge. On top of all this, the River Corb is designated as a special area of conservation under EU and Irish law, as it contains uh, important habitats and species. Some of the species include salmon, sea lamprey and white clawed uh, crayfish. Okay, so that's a bit of the context of it. And now before we get into the bones of the open call, we wanted to share some images of the bridge with you to give you the opportunity to begin to visualize if you've not had the opportunity to, vi to visit the bridge yet. So this is an aerial view of the bridge before it opened. So there's still um, construction bits around, but it's a really good view of the area of the bridge. So this all here, around here, and then these here either side, which we'll have close up um, in further images. So if you looking over into the cathedral, and this is one of these uh, viewing points that looks straight down into the core, and there's another on the other side. This is the steel spine.
and this is the lighting uh, for the bridge in the evening time. I will send uh, a PDF of the PowerPoint to everybody after this so that you have access to these images. And this shows now this one, this uh, runoff here just stops here at the old bridge. Um, and then the other side uh, connects to the walkway opposite. So I'm here. And just another viewpoint that's across to the church. I'm sure it may have crept inside the space itself, which we'll get to at the end. Now, uh, the vision for the artwork is a work that will be relevant to the area that's being proposed sensitive to the context uh, of the location, dynamic, uh, create dynamic conversation, uh, represent the very best of contemporary public art practice in Ireland, and give the successful artist the time and space to realize new and exciting work. Open competition. Uh, as you know, the opportunity of this commission is being delivered through uh, open competition, uh, which has been publicly advertised as an invitation to artists to submit a bid towards this public art opportunity. This decision was made as an open call for submission helps maintain a diverse range of contributors and ideas. As with all open call competitions, the selection process will be through a selection panel. The panel will be comprised of the Goa City Arts Officer, Goa City Arts Development Officer, Senior Executive Engineer for Goa City, Public Art Coordinator, myself, Professional Artist, an Independent Curator or Public Art Professional, and the architect uh, of the bridge. Now, this is a two-stage commission process. So stage one, applicants must submit a completed expression of interest application form, which you can download from the Gower City Public Art page. A plan, outlining general ideas for the commission and the artistic concept of the proposed work. Please limit your response in this area to 1500 words and 10 and up to 10 images of the proposed work. An up-to-date CV, maximum of three pages. And a selection of examples of recent work and or examples of previous commissions and references if relevant to the application. Submissions are to be sent to Goa Arts Office at arts at goacity.ie. Um, clearly marked present for art scheme, Salmon Weir Pedestrian and Cycle Bridge and your name. All submissions will be assessed by the panel and shortlisted artists will be informed on the 28th of the 7th, 23. Uh, any unsuccessful submissions will also be notified at this time. The commissioners will not be liable for any costs or expenses occurred in respect of successful or unsuccessful applications um, for stage one. Stage two, the selection panel will shortlist artists to develop the stage two detailed proposals. Depending on the nature of the proposal, artists will be given the opportunity to attend a site visit and or attend for interview. Artists who are shortlisted for stage two will receive an artist fee of 400 euro uh, to submit an outline for the proposal maquette and concept. In that 400 euro, it has to cover all charges, including that um, anything occurred for that. 
The stage two proposal will include a detailed breakdown of all costs also. Another note on this is that the Goa City Council reserves the right to commission at stage two or not to commission from entries received and to re-advertise directly invite um, or directly commission to select more or to select more than one uh, submission for commission and to divide the budget accordingly. Selection criteria. So the selection criteria on this uh, public art project is going to be artistic quality, ambition, and quality of, of ideas and inventiveness, context and connection, the relevance to the spirit, history, and culture of the locality, budget feasibility, which is in value for money and that can, it can be carried out within your budget, um, the artist's demonstrated ability to carry out a project like this, long-term value and impact, and where relevant maintenance and durability of the artwork. Uh, materials and health and safety. Uh, for permanent works, materials must be durable and require minimum maintenance. Bronze and wood material are not preferable due to issues with maintenance. Health and safety. Artists should consider the health and safety requirements of the proposed site for the artwork. In particular, road safety and issues associated with reflective or kinetic component, components. Additionally, the general public, uh, including children, will have access to the site and the artwork. At stage two, a risk assessment should be carried out by the artist regarding the work they're proposing and the installation of said work. Budget. There is a budget of 47,750 inclusive of artist fee, VAT, labour, materials, construction, installation, travel accommodation, consultation, fabrication, and any other costs incurred by the artist in the production and delivery of this work. Timeline, the deadline for the receipt of stage one submission is the 19th of 7th, 2023 at 5 p.m. Applications received after this time will not be considered. The notification of shortlisting decisions is 28th of 7th. Uh, site visit for shortlisted artists is the 4th of August. Deadline for receipt of stage two submission is the 31st of August. Announcement of stage two decision is the 12th of September, 23. And the proposed installation of the work is January uh, or February, 2024. Um, and this will all be discussed much further with the selected artist at that time. Now, I have run through this. So for any other inquiries, um, you can call the Goa City Arts Office directly at arts at goacity.ie, or you can contact me directly at fionaoutlook.com. Uh, you will all have my email now since I sent you the link for this information session. So now that we've gotten through the kind of the bones of the open call, I'm going to stop sharing and open up for conversation because we know that's really where the details come from. Um, we have something in our messages. Now, now.
my apologies. I'm very sorry, sorry, sorry now, now because, because we have other people, other people that put this into the session. session. Yeah, so yeah, I'm okay, just okay, answering the questions, questions, questions and on what we've gone through. Just in so terms of housekeeping, housekeeping, could we please stop recording? recording? And yeah, could and we, we also, also mute, mute mics, mics everybody? everybody. Thank you. Thank you.